heavier precipitation back to the south and in a real strong situation many times you'll see that hook actually wrap all the way up the precip wraps all the way around uh, the tornado or the funnel cloud. In this case, it's not as well defined as what we might see in a huge supercellular storm like they had down south, like they had out west in the Joplin area. But I'll tell you what, this is still a very dangerous situation in a very, or over a very populous center. Uh, the metro region, uh, right around the Waterson Expressway, moving its way east, northeast at speeds of around 30 to 35 miles an hour. So if you're in around the highlands, you need to be in your basement, Clifton, couple minutes out. Butchell, five minutes away. Bowman Airfield, five to six minutes out. The St. Matthews area, anywhere from five to 10 minutes away. Northfield, about 13 minutes away. Hurstbourne, 15 minutes out. Same with Devondale, same with Linden. This is carrying it towards the east and northeastern end of Jefferson County. Uh, it looks like its current track and speed, if it holds together, if it maintains its integrity, its strength, its uh, development, it would take it towards the Ford truck plant as well a little bit later on during the evening hours. But we're talking Plainview, 18 minutes out, Douglas Hills, Springhurst, uh, Middletown, the Anchorage area, anywhere from 18 to 24 minutes out. If you're watching from places like Green Spring, if you're watching from, let's say, um, the Glen Oaks subdivision, if you're watching over towards, uh, let's say, White Blossom, get into your basement right now. You're just outside the tornado warning zone, but nonetheless, that storm is indeed headed in your direction. So the tornado warning continues right now for uh, central and north central portions of Jefferson County, Kentucky, until the bottom of the hour, until 8.30, EDT, the next 15 minutes or so, tornado warning sirens are blaring out there, no question about it. And we have had numerous reports of funnel clouds, weak tornado touchdowns, Tornado Possible touchdown. Debris. Yeah, debris flying around. We've had that report of a tornado that touched down in the middle of the track at Churchill Downs. Uh, Amazing. One, one thing I'm concerned about, Jay, let's head over to the storm analyzer really quick here. I want to show you another storm that we're watching toward the west. Look at just south of Lanesville. This is in eastern sections of Harrison County. And Jay, this storm is rotating just as strongly as yeah. the storm that's in the metro. We're certainly seeing a localized environment that's right on top of the metro this evening that is conducive to weak tornado spin-ups. And this storm would have its eyes set on areas closer to Portland, New Albany, and Louisville over the next several minutes. This is a storm that's not tornado worn, Jay, but just because you're not underneath a tornado warning in New Albany, the Portland area, uh, let's just play it safe as these storms pass on by. There could be weak tornado spin-ups with little or no advance warning. Yeah, let's be ready to go anyway. If you need something, please seek shelter in your tornado warning shelter region. Uh, don't wait, of course, for the warning to be issued. Never want to do that. So a number of storms out there uh, early on this Wednesday evening. They are starting to rotate. They're starting to tap some of that wind energy. 